What's up everyone, Mac Minion here, and today we're taking a closer look at the brand new release of macOS Tahoe 26.2 Beta 3. I've already installed this update on both my M4 MacBook Pro and my M4 Mac Mini, ran a full set of performance tests, checked the benchmarks, and reviewed the system changes. In this breakdown, you'll get a clear picture of what's new, what's been fixed, and what you can expect if you decide to update. Let's get started. The update arrives with a download size of roughly 2.9 to 3.1 gigabytes, depending on the device you're upgrading from. It installs smoothly and follows the same structure as the previous 26.2 betas. Alongside macOS Tahoe 26.2 Beta 3, Apple has released an entire lineup of coordinated updates for the rest of the ecosystem. This includes iOS 26.2 Beta 3, iPad OS 26.2 Beta 3, Watch OS 11.2 Beta 3, tvOS 18.2 Beta 3, and a refreshed Safari technology preview. This is another synchronized wave of updates across Apple's platforms, ensuring every device is aligned for the next stage of the 26.2 cycle. While there are no massive visual changes, several areas of the system were refined. A new toggle in Settings, General, AirDrop, and Handoff allows users to manage who can receive extended identity information through AirDrop. The feature now behaves more consistently than before. It also resolves the glitches that previously appeared inside the Contacts app. Applications using the updated Tab Bar API now show the correct background tint instead of the unintended gray overlay. The color adjusts properly to the system's interface. This brings tab bar appearance back in line with expected design behavior. Mission control and finder animations have been adjusted to create smoother transitions during daily navigation. Window movements and layout changes appear more balanced and stable. These refinements reduce the brief stutters that were noticeable in earlier builds. Safari does not introduce new visible features in this beta, but overall stability has been improved. Page loading and tab switching work more reliably under heavier browsing conditions. These back-end adjustments help maintain consistent performance across different websites. Fixed in Beta 3, Mission Control no longer shows color artifacts during animations, creating a cleaner visual transition between spaces. Spotlight's interface elements now align correctly, removing the small but noticeable layout shifts. Universal Control maintains a stable connection between devices, reducing unexpected interruptions. The Wi-Fi menu no longer freezes after waking the Mac from sleep. Rendering issues with the Tab Bar API have also been addressed, restoring the intended appearance. Some issues remain in this build. Finder can still experience occasional preview freezes when loading certain file types. AirDrop may require repeated attempts when transferring specific items. Apps built on Electron, such as Discord and Notion, continue to show inconsistent performance depending on workload. Performance has improved across the system. App launch times are roughly 3-5% to faster, giving the interface a more immediate feel. Desktop animations appear smoother when switching spaces or opening windows, and Finder navigation responds with less delay. Safari also shows slightly better performance on heavier sites, making browsing more stable during demanding sessions. Heat management is noticeably better compared to the previous beta. The MacBook Pro M4 runs 3 to 5 degrees Celsius cooler under sustained load, helping maintain peak performance for longer periods. Idle temperatures stay around 30 to 32 degrees. On the Mac Mini M4, the fans activate less frequently, reflecting lower thermal pressure overall. Battery life shows solid results on the 14-inch M4 MacBook Pro. Mixed usage typically reaches between 8 hours and 20 minutes to 8 hours and 40 minutes. This is an improvement of about 20 to 30 minutes over Beta 2. Standby drain remains consistent, and the system no longer shows sudden battery percentage drops. On M1 and M2 machines, battery behavior is similar to what users experienced on macOS 26.1. The next beta is expected to arrive within the usual two-week release cycle. Apple has been following a consistent pattern throughout the 26.2 development phase, so the next build will likely land toward the middle of the upcoming week or shortly after. If the schedule holds, the release candidate should follow soon after that.
installation briefly consumes about 1.4 gigabytes of temporary system data, which macOS clears automatically once the process is complete. The system does not show any unusual growth in the other system data category, keeping storage usage stable after the update. This beta includes several security-focused patches. WebKit has received fixes addressing issues with script execution, cross-site scripting, and SVG rendering. Core Graphics now handles memory more safely, and Core Image no longer exhibits the buffer leak behavior found in earlier builds. No kernel-level vulnerabilities were addressed in this release. macOS 26.2 Beta 3 brings faster performance, improved thermal behavior, better battery life, and a reliable collection of bug fixes. It stands as the most stable build in the 26.2 cycle so far. Users already participating in the beta program can update without hesitation. Those on the stable version may choose to wait for the release candidate, but Beta 3 is performing well enough to be considered dependable even now.